So Tesla has finally confirmed the long-awaited launch of the Model Y Juniper 2025, and expectations are sky high. What's really interesting about this new version is that it comes in three different configurations, with five, six, and even seven seats. This means they're expanding the options for different types of families and lifestyles. Whether you need more space for friends or family, or even for a good road trip with everyone together, the Model Y Juniper will have an option that fits perfectly. Production is set to begin in the first quarter of 2025, which isn't that far away. Now, as always, Tesla is focused on keeping everything running smoothly. The plan is to continue production throughout 2025, meaning that by the end of the year, the Juniper version will be fully available in the market. And here's what's even more interesting. For those thinking about buying a Model Y now, Tesla is already offering some pretty generous discounts. They're clearing out the current stock to make way for this new version. So if you've had your eye on a Tesla, now might be a great time to take advantage. These discounts are a clear signal that Tesla is preparing the market for what's coming next. Even with the Juniper on its way, they're not simply replacing the current Model Y. Instead, they're creating this smooth transition by offering lower prices for those who want to buy now while building anticipation for what's coming. This also shows how confident Tesla is in the Model Y Juniper. After all, to lower the price of the current model, they must be sure that the next version will be a massive hit. As for the seven-seat version of the Model Y, it seems like this configuration has been approved over in Europe, and that's got everyone curious. After all, it's one of the options many people have been asking for. And honestly, it makes total sense, right? A Tesla with room for seven people is perfect for larger families or those who love traveling with friends. But as exciting as that is, there are still some questions in the air about where and how this car will be manufactured. It's that age-old question. Where will it be cheaper and faster for Tesla? The big question is about manufacturing in China or at Giga Berlin. Some say the car might be entirely produced in China, which when you think about it, wouldn't be surprising since Tesla has a massive production base there. But at the same time, it makes sense for them to consider making part of the production in Germany, especially for the European market. You know, to avoid those heavy EU tariffs. After all, any savings they can make in manufacturing will help with the final price for consumers. And this speculation about where the car will be built only increases when you remember the camouflage prototypes spotted over in California. Can you imagine? Cars all covered up, driving around as if they're hiding some big secret. These images show that the design of the Model Y Juniper is still going through final tweaks. So, even though the 7 seat version has been approved in Europe, they're still refining the look and maybe even testing new features before the launch. The most exciting part is that these prototypes always give you that feeling that something big is coming. They don't camouflage a car for no reason, you know? It means there are still surprises in store, and Tesla always has an ace up its sleeve when it comes to innovation. I keep thinking they're tweaking something in the design, maybe an aerodynamic change, or even something new with the headlights and front grille. It wouldn't be the first time Tesla makes these last minute adjustments. And one thing we can't forget is that Tesla always thinks ahead. They know the competition is watching closely and every detail of the design matters. It's not just about making a beautiful car, but also an efficient and aerodynamic one. After all, that can directly impact the vehicle's range. So, these final adjustments they're making now probably have to do with that. Maybe it's a minor change in the exterior design, but it could make a big difference in the car's performance on the road. What also stays in mind is how the Juniper will be received in the European market. The seven-seat configuration is already a big plus, but will Europeans prefer a car made locally in Germany? Or will they not mind if it comes directly from China? Either way, Tesla is playing it smart, analyzing all the possibilities to make sure this model is a hit in any market. And honestly, we, the consumers, are the ones who win with more options and, hopefully, 
even more competitive prices. If production really is split between China and Germany, it could speed up the delivery of cars to the European public. Besides avoiding tariffs, production at Giga Berlin could mean less waiting time for those eager for the new Model Y Juniper. And let's face it, no one likes waiting months for a new car, especially when it's a Tesla, right? This speed in production and delivery could be a huge differentiator for the brand. Another cool point to think about is how Tesla is always testing its vehicles in different parts of the world. Seeing the prototypes driving around in California, you can imagine they're testing the car in various conditions, from hot climates to challenging roads. This ensures that when the Model Y Juniper finally comes out, it'll be ready for any situation. And let's not forget that Tesla loves to incorporate feedback from tests to make the final product even better. One of the big bets is the introduction of structural battery packs, something Tesla has been testing in other models and that has everything to be a hit in the Juniper. This technology not only improves the car's efficiency, but also helps make it lighter and more robust at the same time. With that, the range could increase considerably, which is a huge plus for those who want more time on the road and less time at charging stations. It's that competitive edge Tesla loves to bring in its updates. And it's not just the battery that's going to get an upgrade. The cabin is also expected to go through some interesting changes. Tesla always pays attention to comfort in its vehicles. And the rumors say that Juniper's cabin will be even quieter and more comfortable. That's a big draw for those who value a quiet, peaceful ride. Plus, it's likely that new materials will be used ensuring more durability and an even more premium look. Another point that can't be ignored is the improvements in suspension. With an enhanced suspension, the Model Y Juniper promises to offer a smoother and more stable drive, which makes all the difference on longer trips or more challenging terrains. Imagine an SUV that combines power with comfort without making you feel every bump in the road. This attention to detail is a Tesla trademark, and anyone who's driven a Tesla knows how much it improves the driving experience. What makes everything even more exciting is that the launch of this model is scheduled for early 2025. Tesla is usually very strategic with its release dates, and there are already talks that the Juniper could be revealed in style during the first quarter earnings call. Of course, that is if they don't decide to surprise everyone beforehand. Tesla has a history of making announcements at unexpected moments, so who knows? They might choose to launch the Juniper with a nice surprise. If it's not during the earnings call, there's also a chance that the reveal will happen at the annual shareholder meeting. These events are always packed with news, and Elon Musk loves to take advantage of these moments to showcase new technologies and discuss the future of the company. Whatever moment they choose, the fact is that the Model Y Juniper is already generating a lot of anticipation, and Tesla fans are counting the days to see what new features it will bring. It's worth noting that Tesla has a very high standard when it comes to updates. Each new launch is a clear evolution from the previous one. The Juniper, with its improvements in power, range, and comfort, seems to be following this same trend. It's not just about creating a beautiful or powerful car. It's about delivering a unique driving experience. Tesla always seeks to balance cutting-edge technology with a user experience that is accessible and practical for everyday life. Another important detail is that these updates are a direct response to the competitive electric vehicle market. Other automakers are racing to catch up, but Tesla stands out precisely because it doesn't sit still. The Juniper is set to further consolidate Tesla's position as a leader in innovation and performance in the EV sector. And, of course, the real winners in this competition are us, the consumers, who receive increasingly complete and efficient vehicles. The Model Y Juniper will also reflect Tesla's commitment to sustainability. The improvements in range, for example, are part of the vision to create more efficient and less energy-dependent cars. And of course, the production of these vehicles follows the sustainability concept, 
with factories utilizing renewable energy and processes aimed at minimizing environmental impact. This is the kind of innovation that goes beyond what we see on the surface. The electric crossover market is heating up and the Model Y Juniper will have to contend with heavy competitors. Tesla can no longer simply rely on the name it has built as new brands are entering the game and bringing a lot of innovation. A clear example is the Cadillac Optique, which is already catching attention for its sleek design and the cutting edge technology it promises. Cadillac, with its history of luxury and comfort, is diving head first into the electric world, which means the Juniper will have to prove that it is still a superior choice. But the real challenge may come from Lucid Motors, which is preparing to expand its lineup by 2026. If you've heard of the Lucid Air, you know they are not playing around when it comes to electric vehicle technology. Their focus is on delivering a level of luxury and performance that few can match. If they launch an electric crossover that follows this same philosophy, it will be a direct and formidable competitor for the Model Y Juniper. Tesla will need to keep innovating in all aspects to avoid falling behind. And we can't forget about Rivian, which has carved out a solid space in the market with its robust vehicles packed with innovative features. They are planning to launch the R2, which is expected to arrive in 2026, and expectations are high. Rivian has already demonstrated with its previous models that it knows how to combine technology, adventure, and sustainability. The R2, being a crossover, promises to follow this same path, putting even more pressure on the Juniper to be the best. After all, with so many strong competitors, Tesla cannot afford to launch something that is just more of the same. What makes this competition so interesting is that each of these companies is bringing something unique. The Cadillac Optique will appeal to those seeking style and sophistication. Lucid Motors will attract those looking for the utmost in luxury and performance. And Rivian, with the R2, is targeting consumers who want a vehicle ready for any adventure, but also one that is tech-savvy and sustainable. The Model Y Juniper, with all its promises of upgrades, will need to be versatile enough to compete on all these fronts. This entire competition is good for consumers. With more companies heavily investing in technology, electric vehicles will continue to improve, becoming more accessible and efficient. The innovations that one company launches end up forcing others to follow suit or even surpass them which only raises the overall standard. So, anyone considering switching cars in the coming years will have an incredible variety of options, each with its own advantages and characteristics. But it's important to remember that Tesla is already used to this kind of pressure. From the beginning, the company has had to face major automakers and has managed to stand out precisely by always bringing something new. With the Model Y Juniper, the expectation is that Tesla will continue to bet on innovations such as more efficient batteries, better performance, and, of course, an updated design. All of this will be essential for the Juniper to remain one of the top choices in the electric crossover market. Speaking of innovations, Tesla has the advantage of its technological ecosystem. With features like autopilot and continuous access to software updates, the Model Y Juniper already has a head start in some aspects. Autopilot, for example, continues to be a significant differentiator for those seeking a more autonomous and safe vehicle. While competitors are scrambling to catch up to this level of technology, Tesla is already focused on refining what it has. This could make a substantial difference in a buyer's final decision. Another point that favors Tesla is its charging infrastructure. Tesla's supercharger stations are spread across the globe, which remains a significant attraction for buyers. Even though competition is growing, few manufacturers can offer something as comprehensive and reliable as Tesla's charging network. This will undoubtedly weigh heavily in the choices of those who take long trips and want the convenience of quickly 
and easily recharging their cars. However, competitors are not standing still. Rivian, for instance, is investing in its own charging network, focusing on more remote areas, which is perfect for the adventurous audience they attract. Lucid and Cadillac are also moving to ensure their vehicles have reliable charging options. In other words, the market is becoming more balanced, and Tesla will need to continue distinguishing itself in other areas like performance, design, and comfort features. Tesla has always been known for challenging the conventional, and now, with this new test drive page focused on FSD, full self-driving, they are truly raising the bar. What's brilliant about this initiative is that, in addition to selling the car, Tesla is inviting people to experience one of the most innovative technologies of the moment up close. Imagine stepping into a car that practically drives itself while you supervise. This gives a good idea of what the future could look like, not just safer, but much more practical for those living on the roads. The Model Y Juniper will be one of the stars of this experience. Tesla wants potential buyers to see the car not just as a powerful and stylish machine, but as an example of what cutting edge technology can do in everyday life. FSD is constantly evolving and allowing people to experience it before purchasing makes complete sense. When you put someone behind the wheel and let the car do the heavy lifting, it's hard not to be impressed. This could be the nudge many need to take the leap toward an autonomous vehicle. Of course, FSD still requires human supervision, but the idea that the car can make decisions on its own is fascinating in itself. Tesla is creating an immersive experience where the buyer not only tests the engine's power or the comfort of the seats, but also sees how artificial intelligence is increasingly integrating into our daily lives. And let's face it, this try-before-you-buy approach is a very smart move by Tesla. People tend to trust what they can see and feel, and nothing beats a hands-on demonstration to convince them. Another interesting point is that this test drive experience also educates people about FSD. Many still have doubts or even fears about trusting an autonomous driving system. With this new page, Tesla can address these doubts in practice. During the test drive, drivers can ask questions, understand how the system reacts to different situations, and most importantly, see how it handles the real world. It's a way to demystify the technology and show that it's more ready than many imagine. This strategy can also help Tesla differentiate itself further in the market. With various manufacturers entering the electric vehicle game, what will really set a company apart is technological innovation. And let's be honest, full self-driving is one of those innovations that, when executed well, can completely change how we view transportation. By focusing on FSD test drives, Tesla is positioning itself as a leader in this revolution. Other manufacturers will have to scramble to offer something similar. Additionally, this test drive approach can attract not only those ready to buy, but also the curious. Even if you're not thinking about purchasing a Tesla right now, the mere fact of being able to test FSD is a huge draw. Who knows, after experiencing it, those curious individuals might become future customers. It's like planting a seed, and Tesla knows this. By opening the doors for more people to get to know this technology up close, the company is investing in the long term, creating an even larger fan base. Another interesting detail is that this focus on FSD also reflects Tesla's confidence in the system's safety. They know that by letting people test it, they're showing that FSD is already at an impressive level of maturity. Sure, it's not 100% autonomous yet, but what is already possible with it is incredible. And the best part, Tesla is not hiding anything. On the contrary, they are putting this technology in the hands of consumers so they can see for themselves what is possible today. And perhaps more importantly, what will be possible in the not so distant future. 
And you can't talk about FSD without mentioning the impact it could have on our driving habits in the future. With cars becoming increasingly intelligent, manual driving may end up becoming a thing of the past. Imagine a world where you step into your car, and instead of worrying about traffic, you can relax, work, or even take a nap. It sounds like science fiction, but that's the kind of future Tesla is drawing. And with the Model Y Juniper, this future seems closer than ever. With this new test drive initiative, Tesla is also strengthening its ecosystem. Electric cars are already known for being efficient and eco-friendly, but FSD adds an extra layer of convenience and innovation. And it's this combination of factors that can make all the difference in a buyer's decision. It's no longer just about buying a car. It's about investing in a completely new driving experience. And it looks like Tesla wants people to experience this firsthand before making any decisions. In the end, this new FSD-focused test drive page is yet another proof that Tesla is not just selling cars. They are selling the future. And those who experience this today, driving the Model Y Juniper or any other model, are getting a taste of what that future will be like. It's hard not to get excited about what's to come, and Tesla knows exactly how to fuel that excitement. Every test drive is an opportunity to show that the future of autonomous driving has already begun, and it's closer than many think.